Hello and welcome to Foresights TV. It's well known that history repeats itself. There is an oft quoted statement or phrase we can call it with respect to Julius Caesar. He came, he saw, he conquered. And the same thing happened in our own times. A young gentleman from Hyderabad mustered enough courage and confidence to present the image of India, our country, before the international arena and landed at Mahasarkam, Thailand. And the history repeated again. He came, he saw and he conquered. And that's Mr. Global, Mr. Jason Dylan Bretfillen. And really, Foresights TV is committed to the glorification of spirit in all its multiple facets. And in this way, today we are very glad to have Mr. Jason in our studios for an exclusive talk with us. And we welcome him. Thank Sir, you so much. Very nice. We are really glad. And Foresights TV offers a world of congratulations Thank you for so winning much. this coveted title. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here and uh, I'm truly grateful for uh, you know the support that I've received throughout this journey and uh, sure. looking forward to an interesting deep conversation with you. Definitely sir. Definitely. We are really honored to have you in our studios. Pleasure is mine. And uh, to begin with, we wish to hear from you those ecstatic moments Absolutely. When you were on the podium, mm -hmm. tied with a contender from Hong Kong. Yeah, and Oliver you were, Chung. It was one to one. Mm -hmm. And what was running through your mind at the time? See, I think the build up to that final uh, last two contestants who were on stage. See, we've been through uh, about 12 days of, okay. <clears throat> you know, training and grooming and you know going out and doing promotional tours and everyone is you know that whole yes. hype is building for the final and you know when I was there on uh, in the top two with Oliver Chung from Hong Kong a close friend of mine in that moment I think the only thing that was going through my head was I was you know very grateful firstly yes. to be in that yes. top two position out Definitely. of 36 contestants yes, and um, I was just very grateful for the journey that I've gone through. You know, so yes. many things I've learned about myself as a person and so many experiences um, that I've experienced in that competition and the build up to that competition. So yes. I think for me back then, it was kind of like, you know, win or lose. Yes. What matters is I'm going home with uh, 36 different friends. Yes. I'm going home with uh, experiences that I've built for a lifetime. Yes. And moreover than that, you know, being top two in a, in a pageant competition yes. like that is not a joke. Yes. Sir. So for me, it was win or lose. I'm still a winner. Yes. But uh, as soon as they announced India as, as the winner, I was just too, too many emotions were going yes. through my head. And first thing I was like, you know, I've made my family proud. Yes. The country is, is, is finally on the map for yes, being sir. the first uh, yes. Indian. Uh, first, India is the first country yes. to win a global uh, yes, a pageant. Sir. Yes, sir. So it was a very big uh, you know, honor for me to 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 be the first Indian to have won global, sure. and I was just so grateful. You know, at the end of it, I was just very grateful for the experience. That's really very really nice, sir. In fact, you have made the entire country proud by winning this crown for the very first time, first Indian to achieve yeah. this. <laughs> so really feeling so happy. And uh, in this context, how do you rate the competition as such sir how was it uh, spread over what were the many things which were involved in that right so i think uh, like every other general pageant yes. the, the the few parameters and factors that they look for is i mean yes of course good looks yes. is is one of yes. of the thing i wouldn't say it's the main thing yes. at all you know you have your physique yes. you have your general knowledge yes, your communication skills yes. the way you present yourself yes, as an sir. individual um, your knowledge on current affairs. Yes. So I think I, I think the way I would describe uh, a pageant is they're looking for uh, an individual who has an overall yes. personality. Complete personality. Complete personality. Complete personality. Complete. So um, a lot of people mistake it for just being, ah, uh, you just know. Just only for outward looks. Only for outward look. But yes. it's, it's, it's way more than that. Because yes. once you win, you have to uh, represent 
um, you know, so many people, yes. not just your country, but yes. also, you know, the world in, in, in a sense. Definitely, sir. So I think uh, on these on these certain parameters, that's what they look for and judge, you know. And at the end, of course, it's the question answer round. Definitely. So that is the final uh, judging so, factor. How was that, sir? How was that round? And what were the tricky questions that were shot at you? See, they're, not, they're all very simple questions. If okay. you think about it and zoom out, they're very okay. simple questions. Okay. It's just that, that uh, you know, nervousness on stage uh -huh. is what kind of blocks your mind a little bit. Yes, that will completely. Yeah, yeah. so okay. they asked me a question about mental health, okay. which, um, of course, it was easy for me because I could relate to it. Definitely. Because in this time and age, I feel a lot of, um, you know, People our age struggle with, um, you know, mental health issues. And it's something that that uh, yes. I've experienced, which is why it was easy for me to answer it so effortlessly or smoothly, you could say, or whatever. But I think the key for me to answering before I got on stage was I needed to understand the the importance of, of being calm, yes. of um, listening to the question properly yes. and kind of like, I, I had, a, we obviously were briefed with uh, yes. some kind of questions they might ask you in there. So I was, anyway, I was just like, see, whatever, you have a certain time limit to yes. answer. Yeah. You break it down into, uh, uh, you know, you give your opening statement and then you give three points okay. to support that and then you give your closing statement. So that structure. Okay, that really helped yeah, you. Yeah, that helped me answer the question okay. a little better. And of course, Rita, ma'am, who was my groomer, she did help me. Um, work on how to answer these questions so it did so, help a lot so so nice for you recollecting your mentor i know yeah yes. it, was, it was very nice to work with mom she's she's a yes. great uh, she's a great person and a groomer it was a privilege she's worked with a lot of um yes you know uh, winners from uh, international pageants and a lot of people okay. so it was great to to learn from her I've definitely learned more about communication and pre presentation after yeah. my classes with mom sure sir and I heard, Mr. Jason, that you are a team man. So, can you describe who and all are the part of your team and how really they contributed to this great victory? Yeah, I mean, see, our team right now, uh, of course, Pankaj sir is, uh, is uh, you know, leading the team right now, you could okay. say. So, he's been a tremendous uh, support and backbone of the organization. And, you know, of course, without him, I wouldn't have been here today without his yeah. uh, support. So Pankaj sir is definitely there. Then we have Vishal sir who is on, um, he helps us with the clothing and the attire. Oh, okay. So he's definitely done a great job in, in helping us with the outfits that I've had in Global. So I heard that he designed a Sherwani for you. Yes, okay. yes. That was, that. it was very simple, but it okay. spoke uh, a thousand a words in itself. Correct. So we wanted to keep it simple, not do too much because yes. again, simplicity is key, we felt. That really matters. Yeah. And then of course, Rita ma'am is there. Rita Ma'am was my groomer for the global this yes, year, so she Amit, helped me. Amit sir. Amit sir, Amit Khanna sir was, yes. was you know, obviously uh, he's yeah. one of the best photographers I've worked with till date. That's and nice. uh, it, it's always a pleasure to work with him and the whole team, of course. And then we have the whole Rubru team, everyone who is in the backbone yes. helping with, you know, social media and, and promotions and all of that and doing their research. So it's... It's an honor to work with uh, with a team that's so structured and committed to, to doing what they want to do. Really so nice. so nice to hear from you, acknowledging that uh, team spirit is quite important. It is. It's very important, very I think. Important. And uh, do you believe that uh, winning Rivero present, that was critical and crucial for you to get elevated to that international arena? Yes, absolutely. Because see, what Rubru does is see, like for example, when we went to the competition in Goa, okay. um, it was for five days. Okay. And for five days, they kind of made us work like how we would have to be put to work in an international pageant. Okay. Because so you had a kind of experience. Yes. Okay. With 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 the schedule, with the kind of work you have to do there. You know, so many shoots in a day and you, oh. have, you have very less amount of sleep, but so much to do throughout the day. Okay. So when we went there, we were like, wow, this is really stressful. Uh -huh. You know, we yes. thought international would be a little more easier, but it wasn't. Mm -hmm. So if it wasn't for Mr. India yes. and going through that uh, process, yes. global would have been quite a quite. nightmare, <laughs> you could say. <laughs> but yeah, it was very, very essential that we went through that. And hearing from you about Goa, what comes to my mind is that Ironman Marathon. Uh, <laughs> Can you please share with our viewers as to what it is about and how you could complete it? So the Ironman is basically a triathlon, okay. which involves uh, swimming, cycling and running. So oh. um, 
my father and I have always been uh, into, uh, you know, doing activities like this. So as soon as we found out, we were like, why don't we do it together as a team? Yes. So we That's had nice. my father and I and another friend of mine. So mm. I was on running. I did uh, the, the marathon. My dad did the swimming and another friend of mine was on uh, the cycle. Okay. So it's kind of like a relay, you could say. Yeah, relay. Okay. So there was, I think, about 1.9 kilometers of swimming in the ocean, which oh. you start with that, which yeah. dad did and completed in amazing time. Really, we should compliment him. I know. Yeah, it was. Uh, and for, for his age to do that yeah. was, was I was very impressed. Yes. And then that transitioned on to um, cycling for 90 kilometers in Goa, in that sun. 90 kilometers? 90 kilometers of cycling. Sun. Yeah. It was, uh, oh, that's why it's called an Iron Man. Because <laughs> really? once you finish it, you... It is really unthinkable. I know. Such a thing. Okay. So once you're done with cycling, then you go to the last, which is the running, which is about 22 kilometers, oh. if I'm not wrong. So we finished that in, I think, about eight, seven, seven and a half, eight hours, I think, if I'm oh. not wrong. But at the end of the day, I think it was a great, uh, mm. great experience to work with the, with the team. Definitely. The relay team. It was very fun. I think... All these things were really fashioning you towards that main goal. Yeah. Unconsciously. Unconsciously, they absolutely. They were all leading you to that. True. And you are destined to win that way, I believe. Because <laughs> when I look at what and all has happened, really I feel that some element is really leading you into a kind of direction. Yeah. And is setting that goal before you. Right. So I feel that. And in this aspect, I would really wish to know more about your parents because your family has been a solid support to Absolutely. you all through. Absolutely. So maybe hear something about them. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. What can I say? It's it's uh, <laughs> something that is not spoken about too much. But yes. for me, having uh, parents who have been so um, who have been supporting me so much, you know, and it's it's something I think for any individual who wants to be on a uh, on any kind of a platform, it's very essential that they have that support from the home yes that family sure, support sir. is what Th that's really that matters it's very important it's very crucial also yes. also in so many different aspects you know your emotional state mm. and your your security and all that it all stems from the house okay. so i think for me having that uh, that initial and most important support from from my family kind of did give me a lot of um, yeah. confidence in many ways to be able to represent um, you know, my family, my country, and yes. then myself on that kind of a platform. And first <coughs> of all, if I'm not wrong, Mr. Jason, yeah. in many families, you don't get this type of freedom no. to explore into different avenues. Yeah. It has been very closely structured that yeah. you read through all the, I mean, the regular Your schooling. Education. Then yeah. you look for some job, either software or some other domain, mm -hmm. and then end up with marriage. So yeah. that has been the traditional route. Absolutely. But we have seen that there is a kind of a sh shift in the thinking of your parents wherein they allowed you to explore in whatever way because we Absolutely. heard that you are a grade 7 certified grade 7 uh, drummer yeah. from associated board of uh, royal schools of music yes which is really a very big thing really <laughs> wonderful thing <laughs> Thank when you. i read through i was amazed <laughs> big certification from yeah. the royal schools mm. it's quite authentic i know and after that you were an avid footballer yes and you played for the teams here in india and for you ended up in playing for romania also yeah so, i was i was in romania i mm. went to romania to to try and pursue football i was playing for okay. a club over there okay um but again i've got two knee surgeries okay. uh, acl and meniscus I had two tears, so I had to get two surgeries. I think with a surgery like that, anyone who's mm. into sports uh, yes. knows that that surgery is, is kind of like a, um, you know, that's that's end game for you. Yes. So um, it was a little bit of a shocker because for the last, I don't know how long I could remember, I've always wanted to become a footballer. It was my passion. It was everything. It was. Uh, a way for me to kind of just it started off with a, a means for me to get out my emotion and then that progressed into a more personal relationship with the sport yeah. and then you know one day I was just like you know I, I want to take this forward but then once once the, the 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 surgery happened and I couldn't pursue that a little more it took me two good years first of all to recover 
Definitely. And also two years for me to come to acceptance with that it's not possible. Because it is very hard to really come to terms with yeah. that. I know naturally it's something you've groomed, something yes. you've given time to and you know you've, you've been thinking in that yes. way. So when it gets taken away from you, it takes a certain amount of restructuring of yes. your mental state to uh, you know to figure out what what's important and what's the next step to take after that. So uh, when that happened, I had to obviously come back to Hyderabad, which is where my family was and which is where I eventually wanted to come if I wasn't doing um, football in Europe. So yes. I came back. And also simultaneously, I've always wondered, you know, people have constantly tell me, you know, you, you're tall, you, you should yes. get into modeling and all of this. But I've always wanted to become an actor. Oh, I've always really loved nice, the film, nice. the film life and, you know, being able to be on set and, and jump into new characters, Definitely. playing new characters, yes. emitting different kinds of emotion. It was always something I wanted to do, but really? I wasn't into that path. It was <laughs> okay. all football and sports yes. and all of that. So once football stopped, so this was your this immediate This was the next choice. thing. I was like, you know, there's no point stopping. If yes. it's not this, then it's something else. Definitely. So that's when I stumbled upon uh, the Rubru Mr. India. Okay. And then I got signed because it was all, for me, it, was, it started with how can I create some sort of recognition for myself yes. to get into the film industry. Some kind of limelight. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. So winning Mr. India was definitely a big uh, boost for me in many ways. And then, of course, now Mr. Global is, you know, more than I could have asked for. So I think right now, like I, I, I said um, in my, uh, I keep telling people, you know, now that I'm done with the pageant, yes. right now my focus is uh, entirely to get into, uh, you know, the acting field. Acting. So we, we really wish you to be seen on the silver screen very soon. <laughs> I hope really. and pray that really. that, it, that I, I get the opportunities. Definitely. And it's definitely a different, uh, complete different ball game from acting. Okay. It's, a, it's a different skill and kind of um, understanding you have to have to be in front of a camera and, and uh, express that kind of emotion. Sure, sir. But uh, I want to do it. So it, it'll be worth the training and, and the, the, the efforts put in. It's a new domain of thinking. True. Acting is like uh, living into the life of the other person. Correct. So it's a kind, we have to be quite empathetic and we have to develop so many allied traits. Absolutely, and yes. It is really a worthy profession. Yeah. Because for a person, thinking person like you, I feel it would really do a world of difference if you can really make into that. Yeah. I hope I hope it works out. I'm still very uh, I'm I still if it I don't know if it's going to be Tollywood or if it's going to yes. be Bollywood or but at the end of the day whatever comes uh, yeah. is some is an opportunity that I'm grateful for. So and I'm still 20. Yes. I can't put that uh, I've realized I can't put too much pressure on myself to Correct. jump into an industry that is yes. so much more vast than we vast, realize. Vast it is really. So I, th I think at this point, I'm just working on myself. Definitely. Again, acting is there. So, you know, focus on maybe joining an acting class and, and getting into the flow of Correct. being on screen and getting into that flow of emitting those kind of emotions. Yes. And I think if it comes, it comes. You just have to be patient and see where life takes me. Definitely. Sir, what was your uh, reaction on reaching India after winning Mr. Global title? How, how, you, how you felt once you touched our motherland? I was like Jai Hind. Oh, that's so great. happy <clears throat> to be so back great. home and be with uh, with uh, you know my family and my people great. over here. It was because everyone was so excited and you know I didn't know what they were seeing and great. everyone was like we saw everything each and everything and I was yes. like wow it's so nice to have great. everyone so excited to see me and because when you're abroad like I'm 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 a family person yes. I like to to be associated with my family when I was in Thailand for those. You know, 12, 13 days, I missed home so much. I yes. missed my food. I missed my, you know, my home, my my family. So coming back home was definitely Correct. a very comforting experience for me. And I was just so eager to come back and be with everyone here back sure. at home. And that too, it happened just when the Christmas is just around. I know, so a Christmas <laughs> gift in a way. <laughs> it's a kind of Christmas gift we all believe. So. Absolutely, it is. Correct. It's it's a big, uh, big gift for me and the family, but... 
perfect. I'm just happy I could make them proud at the end of the day because so many things I've tried and it didn't work out. Sure. And I've always questioned, I was like, you know, what is my path? What you will I ever be able to ex- self-discovery in a way? Because Correct. like, you yeah. know, when so many things you try and it fails, yes. you try and it fails and then you start questioning yourself, Correct. self-doubt. And then, you know, I've just kind of learned to subside it down and just deal with it on my own. But then, of course, that pressure is there because like if I'm failing at so much, which is natural yes. for a human being to experience that. At one point, I was just like, you know, what is my path in life? Yes. And that's when I understood the importance of patience. It's of course, really you know, my nice. parents and family helped me understand that, you know, with patience, you start to realize and you kind of uh, life comes at you when you're patient. We instead have of to rushing really it. wait for the right occasion. Yeah. And we have to really accept what comes by. Absolutely. So that's very important. Correct, sir. And uh, by the way, we also understood that you won a subtitle. Mr. Body Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> what is it all about and how did you win that? Uh, so it's uh, Mr. Body Perfect is basically, of course, someone who has a good body. Okay. And um, someone who can play with their body effortlessly okay. in terms of posing, in terms of walking, because people tend to... Um, have a physique, but they're very stiff. Very stiff. So it's so having that flexibility, being uh-huh. able to pose, look good. It's yeah, I'm, you know, I'm 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 grateful I got the the title. But it's also like, see, one thing people don't know, and I'm actually gonna, um, you know, use this 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 platform to to uh, speak about it. Right before the pageant, yes, I got into a small accident on the okay. bike. So both my palms got scraped. Oh, so 15 to 20 days before the pageant, I couldn't lift because most of the pressure comes on the palms. So for me, I've been training for like, prior to that two months, I was, you know, eating and training and resting Mm. and I've built a certain physique, but now after the accident, in those 15 days, I kind of shrunk a little bit. So when I was on, when I went to Thailand, I wasn't in my best form for one. And then, you know, winning that subtitle Mm. was definitely kind of um, a reminder to me and anyone that, you know, if you want to do something, you you can do it. You just have to have that that determination and willpower. So it was very, uh, it was very, it boosted my confidence a little bit after winning that. Definitely, sir. Actually, you were, you winning this title has inspired so many people, young men. Now they can also look up and say that, yes, one of our friends has won this title. <laughs> yeah. So why not me like that? A kind of new inspiration you have showered upon the young people of this country. <laughs> really, we are I'm thankful to you that way. Very, very grateful that I could. I, mean, I don't consider myself to have that great of a body. I'm not uh, uh, trying to put myself out there like that in any way. But <clears throat> like I tell people, your body is a sign of your hard work. You cannot buy a physique. Yes. You cannot, uh, you know, it's something that when you, when, when someone has a good body, you understand that there is an immense amount of uh, discipline, yes, uh, dedication, very... hard work, consistency. Yes, sir. So for me, that I think is very important. And that's why, uh, you know, fitness as, as, a, as, a, as a topic has become more of a lifestyle for me. Correct. You know, so it I, has to flow with your life. Absolutely. Correct. It's very essential, especially yes. for people at our age. Uh, staying fit is something that I think we should all uh, put a little more emphasis on, you know, because we're all getting, you know, social media and, yes. and going out and Eating partying and, you know, chilling and all. It's mm. it's it's OK. You do yes. that. But also understand the, the equal balance yes. that staying fit will yes. have in your life. That, so that's really important. It is. So how do you take care of your nutrition, sir? How do you feed yourself? I uh, so like do see you like, have any set preset plan like that or I do so I of course a lot of people have this misconception that if you go to the gym you'll make yes, your body sure. but I'd actually like to add that the gym will only help you in 20% of making okay. your body the 80% is your diet okay. so you are what you eat you know they have yes. that saying you're what you yes, eat sir. So for me, I think I, I play around with numbers, you could say. So there's okay. this thing where you have your body weight and yes. double of your body weight is the amount of protein you need to have in a day double for you to grow it. double of it. Okay, sure. So I have about, you know, 180, 200 grams of protein in a day and then I'll have five meals a day. So every two and a half hours, three hours, like, I have a meal. Okay, a Japanese meal. system. Okay. Right. Exactly. Yes. So it, it, it consists of, you know, rice, vegetables, some protein, good fats. Okay. So a balanced diet, you could say, which is... Sure. Uh, 
Very important because when you're putting that much strain on your body, your body needs yeah. that fuel and Can those explain. nutrients to to help recover and improve the, the speed up the process of your muscle growth. Sure, so. sir. By the way, may we know which is your best, I mean, favorite dish or something like that? My favorite dish? I think anyone who knows me knows I'm a die-hard lover of paneer butter masala and butter naan. Okay, Although great. it's not the, <laughs> the most healthiest job on a daily basis, that's my cheat meal. Whenever I can, I'm just... That's I just nice. enjoy that meal so no, much. You are such a simpleton, really. Oh, please. <laughs> Even no. my dal rice and ghee will be okay. is my comfort food. In. That's so nice, so nice. And coming to what life you have seen life in different facets so far. Yeah. So how do you see the life as such? How do you define life? And how do you redefine yourself in the wake of winning this crown? I mean, see, right now, to me, where I am in my life right now as a 20-year-old, for me, for me, to be able to provide for my family, so. and that comes, obviously, with being successful in, in a certain part of life, but yes. to be able to be in a position where I can support my family first, and then yes. myself, and then everyone around me, so great. is what I think mm -hmm. is my main motive and, and, and goal to work. For. Because, you know, at the end of the day, yes, you have the fame, you have the, you know, the, the glamour and the recognition and all of that. But that is, yes. that's all a part of what you're into. The yes. main reason is to, to support your loved ones. And that's something I strongly believe as a man is to have, is to be able to play that role in life, you know, really, to be... This is re really remarkable to learn from you. <laughs> I've just been brought up with, uh, with my parents installing these values in me, so... No, we should really congratulate your parents too, because they have ingrained you with so many things which are essential for making life. Yes. A real man who is in search of the truth and who is really trying to find out the real meaning of life Yes. All its various still learning in fact learning. still learning so much about life yes. I'm still growing and learning and going through different experiences uh, yes. day by day and yeah. I'm still I'm still so young and so I have young, so much so to learn in life but I'm lucky that I've experienced whatever sure. I have at, at this young of an age yes. because it will just help me be more prepared for the hardships or yes, whatever sir. has to come later on in the future that that will really help you to face the challenges of life yes Life is a course of challenges. True. So once you have this kind of uh, inherent built mental makeup, yes. definitely you can face any type of challenge. And apart from challenge, you can also contribute. Absolutely. Because now you are in a responsible position. The whole world knows about you now. Yeah. So that's <laughs> the difference. very overwhelming. <laughs> yes. Really, the, now the, you are notified by the whole world. So you have a kind of credibility when you speak something. When something comes through you, the whole world is ready to listen yeah. and adapt and accept. So, how are you going to play a role in the kind of environmental consciousness, which is also a thing which is dear to your heart? Yeah, I think, see, anything that I speak about, will yeah. I'll have to be very, uh, it's a great responsibility great. that's on, on, yes. on my shoulders right that's now. And I'm not complaining. Yes. But, like you said, creating awareness. Yes is very important right now because I think mm. um, our, our our planet is just in front of our eyes is just yes. getting it's really it's in bad shape definitely you know so it's heading towards a kind of catastrophe absolutely so very soon I, I wouldn't I would yes. wouldn't be surprised in yes. the next few years if we start seeing oh. uh, you know a lot of changes yes. in our planet but I think as as humans uh, we have to play at least our f like start okay. with ourselves you know exactly. take that initi initiative to yes. to you know help the planet wherever you yes. can you know the yes. say no to plastic is is yes. one great initiative yes. that we've caught on to correct and you know planting a tree wherever yes. you can uh reducing you know the use of vehicles correct this, those emissions emissions uh, yeah i read a who report stating that the oceans are getting warmed Right. By yes. two to three degrees. Wow. So, which is going to have a tremendous effect upon the whole planet. Yes. And they say that if that trend continues, most of the coastal towns or cities like New York and other places will mm -hmm. be submerged underwater wow. within 100 years. Wow. So, 
if that is the state of situation scenario then everyone must really rise up to the occasion absolutely and in this respect i think you have a special role to play I'm as <laughs> mr global you can really spread yes. this awareness yes and Emphasize make people on this. really understand where we are heading to yeah so that really i think uh, forms one of your this one. responsibilities absolutely Definitely. creating awareness for Definitely. for the environment is something that i think we all need to pay a little, little more attention little to more and attention. be a little more cu- uh, cautious of yes. of how we deal with the environment Correct. because um see one thing one good thing about our uh, like our city telangana yeah. it's a green green city yes sir so i'm i'm very happy right. i'm very happy that yes. we've we've uh, uh, you know figure out the balance between a good development in the city as well as keeping that balance with nature yes. so that's very important and I'm, i i think uh, you know a lot of a lot of cities are also taking on this uh, yes. this initiative to Correct. to keep that balance of nature as well sure. as development in the economy so sure, sure. i think it's a great initiative by by telangana <laughs> really we are ha- very happy that the telangana is happy about you and proud about you and the entire country is really celebrating this uh, great victory because it has opened up a new vista yeah now people later to are thinking that those things are not for us yes but now since you have won that quite a title so many young people derive inspiration they think yes we can also do it absolutely anything so, is possible if you so have what's your message for the upcoming youth who cherish such ambitions in their heart very very uh, i love this question i love speaking about it too see yeah. anything is possible if you believe and have faith that's great so self belief yes. having faith yes. and having patience yes. and having a hard working uh, mentality or yes. i think four very important factors that help me achieve this so um to anyone who is um aspiring to to make a difference or get into a position in 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 a, in a, in, a, in any realm i would yes. say not just the pageant industry yes. you know of course you have to be hard working you have to be talented yes uh but i think being patient is is something that, that really is very important because it's, yeah it's very important at times nature also will test whether a person can really resist himself or not yes. so if we can master our own emotions nature will reward us like how it has done in absolutely. your case absolutely absolutely like it it took me it took me a, uh, like many years yeah it's not like i woke up yesterday and i said i want to yes, get into no. global and i got it it yes. took me so many it's a long process it's a long process no. and i wouldn't be here speaking to yes. you the way i am yes uh if 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 it wasn't for me to have gone through those experiences in life and understand yes. what so uh, life is everything chisels you absolutely it makes you that What it's very now. important also it's very important for an individual to to go through the hardships yes. and experience the hard times in life to be able to uh be on a platform where they can you know inspire and motivate the others i i i believe definitely this is quite inspiring sir and really foresight's channel wishes you many more laurels in life and thank you so much sir thank you thank you so much for being here today It's such a pleasure. And sharing your wonderful experiences with us all. Thank you so much for Thank having you. me. It's it's a pleasure to be Thank here. Thank you. Thank you sir. Thank God you. bless you sir. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you everyone. Thank you. So we have seen so far that uh, Mr. Global shared some of the wonderful experiences with our audience and we are really thankful to him and we wish him many more such successes in future. Thank you so much.